Hi guys, I'm Ludwig and this is SQL Bootcamp Online, the two-minute SQL series when I'm addressing the most common questions regarding SQL Server. So the question of the day is how to check the addition of your SQL Server. Now we already covered the version part of your SQL Server because you do need to understand the difference between those two. So just a quick recap. The SQL, Se SQL Server version is how your SQL Server developed, right? So you had the SQL Server 2000, 2005, 2008, 2012, and so on and so forth. We do have the 2022 just around the corner, but we also have SQL Server Editions, right? So the SQL Server Edition is the number of features that will be included in that particular SQL Server uh, instance that you will install. So you can have an Express. We already covered the Express, the free versions, uh, three editions, free editions of SQL Server. So the uh, SQL Server Express, the SQL Server developer and why they are free and what you can do with those. But you have different editions of SQL Server. The Express edition is completely free. It's free for the commercial use as well, but it doesn't have a SQL Server agent. It's limited in terms of how uh, large the database can be, how many processing power you can use, how much RAM you can use, and so on and so forth. And all of those different editions of SQL Server, standard, business intelligence, enterprise, developer, depending on which version of SQL Server you run, they will have different features, right? But if you will, if you inherit it and SQL Server uh, from someone and you don't know what you're working on, you should already know how to check the version of that SQL uh, Server. We already covered that in a previous video, as I said, so probably YouTube algorithm will show you this video either on the right hand side or somewhere, somewhere below me. So all you need to do in here is you just need to, let me just paste this one, our live coding session of SQL Bootcamp Online, you just need to go to select a global variable called version Boom, and if you'll do that, you will see that this is SQL Server 2008 R2, and then there will be the engine version. Now, the question is, how do I check the addition? So how uh, many features this particular SQL Server has? Well, I could just go to my uh, Object Explorer, right-click my SQL Server, go to Properties, and then I will see that there is a SQL Server Developer Edition. So from the GUI, it's very easy. But what if you don't have GUI? What if you want to work with the code? Well, there is a built-in built -in function that will give you all of that information. So you just need to select information from your server property function, and then you need to provide it with the particular parameter that you're looking for. So for example, let my parameter be product version. You may remember boom, that the product version for what we uh, call Microsoft SQL Server 2008 R2 SP3, Service Pack 3, is the actual engine level of 10.50.6000, right? So the product version, if you'll run just this part of your code, this is the information that you'll get. But again, both version and the product version parameter for SQL Server property or server property function will only give you that. So what you need to ask for in here is just the addition. If you'll ask for the addition of your SQL Server, boom, you get the developer uh, edition on 64-bit server, right? So it's just that easy, okay? SQL Server property edition, that's it. You don't need anything else if you want to check the, uh, the edition of your inherited SQL Server property. This is the answer to this question. This is the two-minute SQL series when I'm addressing the most common questions that you'll find everywhere regarding SQL Server. But again, please do not subscribe to this YouTube channel. Go to SQL Bootcamp online. This is just a tip of an iceberg of what we're covering there. And I will see you on the other side.